I know it's been like a really long time, but I'm back for this month's video. Beow, 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 beow. September 2022, bitch. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat Kenway, and this is Artsy Fartsy Magic. See my peanut butter jelly snack, pull it right, blushy, uh, painted. If you're new to my channel, I talk about random things and draw at the same time. It's so wild, it's almost magical. <laughs> You know, I wish that could be my job, just riding on golf carts, acting like you're doing something. Cause that's what my maintenance guys do. Sorry. Anyways. I'm just doing random things in this video. Like I'm gonna clear coat my painting that I've been needing to do for a really long time. I'm gonna doodle something in my sketchbook. We might go some places that I might videotape, not sure yet. And I'm not sure what the topic is either. I don't know anything. <laughs> I come so prepared. Well, let's dive into this, guys. Okay, so funny side note real quick before we start. I was driving with my partner and there's this football team that was crossing the street and they looked like kids. And I was like, oh my gosh, are those high school students? And Tyler was like, babe, no, those are college students. Those are full blown adults. And I was just like, oh. did I just get my age checked? They looked like kids. All right, let's go. Hey plans, hey plans. With my hands, with my hands. We're gonna glass this. Bitch, we're gonna seal it and stop. And I got the cheapest brush I could find for good old 69 cents, the good old 69. Okay, um, come on, man. Get her done, come on, man. Oh, there we go. Feels like it's gonna work like a charm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm all energetic and crazy today, but it's happening. Yes. Okay, I swear we're gonna be getting into the main topic soon. I just wanted to put the audio with these videos in because I thought they were better than just me voiceovering stuff. I'm really not trying to prolong the intro. Like I didn't want it to be this long, but I shall put it down my website sometime. I'll get to it and I'll get to it. Now, let's go to the next scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this is the only outside footage that I had. So, yay, scenery. That's my baby niece. Anyways, now let's go into the main topic <laughs> of the video, which is the truth behind your personality. I think we all know what personality means, but if you really want to know the full definition, here it is. Personality refers to individual differences in characteristic patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Wow, that sounds so intelligent. Personality focuses on two broad areas, including one's understanding of the differences of each own's characteristics, and the other is how all those characteristics come together as a whole. We are one. I am one. OMG, look at me being conscientious. What some psychologists have come up with to determine one's personality is a test. Yay! Because I know we all love taking tests and learning about ourselves. Why not tell me who I am through a series of questions, right? Wrong. Often personality tests have been used frequently for job placement and research. Also personal entertainment. However, reliable tests like Meyer Briggs type indicator and the big five can be developed around a faulty assumption producing invalid results. <gasps> Gasp. So are personality tests a scam? Well, few psychology theories have actual support of the so-called personality traits like the big five. These include openness to new experience, conscious, conscience, consciousness, consciousness, conscience, conscientiousness. You get what I mean. Extroversion, introversion, agreeableness, and neurotism. 
neurotism. Did I say that right? Neurotism, neurotism. N- let's let's look that up. Let's look that up. Neuroticism. What? Neuroticism. What? Neurotic. Neuroticism. 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 What the fuck? Okay. Um. Yeah. That was a a big fail there. <laughs> So, for example, in many instances, individuals have rated themselves as reserved, but also tended to say they were talkative, which, honestly, I consider myself reserved and talkative as well. Like, if I'm around the right people, I can be considered a chatty motherfucking Kathy, you know. But if I'm in a group of strangers, I'm going to keep my mouth shut until I feel like it's safe to say something. People are scary, okay? You have to have trust to get to know this personality. Okay, I bet many people feel like this too. I mean, of course they do. It literally talks about this on the American Psychology Association website. In fact, only two clusters had correlated responses, which was the industriousness and tendency to be pro-social. Whatever that means. Big words. (laughs) What? I think it's saying someone who is energetic and devoted to effort also tends to be overall a positive person. However, however, even if some results are unreliable, there is some truth behind the personality test, especially the Big Five test. So, with all of this being said, it leads to the question of, is personality the key to successful aging? Apparently, depending on how outgoing and reliable you are, maybe it's just as important as exercise and eating right. Recent research has shown that extroversion and consciousness... Oh my, why am I struggling with my words? They predict longevity and that having high levels of neurotism... <laughs> predicts cardiovascular disease and early mortality. Late life is often when a person's personality is the most evolved. As individuals age, they become increasingly like themselves, which I 100% believe this. I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago, and I know I still have many, many, (laughs) many more years of growth before I become my full authentic self. It takes time. Okay, here's another fun fact for you. So you know when you walk into a doctor's office and they start asking you standard questions like medical history and smoking habits? Well, research has also shown that assessing their personalities during a routine medical exam in young adults could prove as equally useful. It can become a better way to avoid serious health problems later in life. Being conscientious, conscientious, how do you fucking say this? Hold on. Conscientious. That. (laughs) I'm just going to play that every single time that I have to say it. (laughs) Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Being conscientious appears to be the best held for good health among traits known as the big five, which are the basis for most psychological personality assessments. Get this, a study with participants who were more conscientious, (laughs) wait, conscientious, when they were 26 years old, were more likely to be in much better health at age 38 than those who were low in that personality trait. Individuals low in conscientious were more often overweight, had high cholesterol, inflammation, hypertension, and greater rates of gum disease. How freaking crazy is that? Makes you want to change your personality a little bit, eh? Fuck being agreeable or neuroticism. <laughs> I want to be conscientious. Yeah. Conscientious. People are more likely to have active lifestyles, maintain healthy diets, and have more self control. So they are less likely to smoke or abuse alcohol and drugs. <laughs> Go figure. Anyways, that's the cold, hard truth behind your personality, folks. It might be cold, but at least it's hard. Oh, gee. <laughs> that was so bad. Moving on, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. I've been trying to at least do videos every month. I am so sorry I tripped over my words so much in this video. To be honest, I did have a problem when I was a kid pronouncing words. I had to go to speech therapy for it. I used to call spaghetti spazgetti and I still have issues with it. So I'm thankful that y'all bear with me there because whoa, I was really struggling there. (laughs) if you wanted to stick around it's my spouse's birthday month so i wanted to put some funny driving videos of him for this last bit i love you babe happy birthday and yeah i'll see y'all soon peace love and my jock you're done why what'd you do i'm trying to vibe (laughs) this 
What do we need again? Italian sausage. Potatoes. Water. And, <laughs> and butter. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. You ever drive like this? No. You never drove like this? No. We're just excited to go home so we can watch what, babe? Pizza. No, what are we watching? Oh, the Tiger King. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks.